Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you've ever accidentally deleted an important file, formatted a hard drive, or lost data due to a system crash, then you know how frustrating and stressful that can be. But don't worry, because in today's video, I'm going to introduce you to a powerful data recovery tool called Wondershare Recoverit. With a success rate of over 95%, this software can help you recover all kinds of files, including documents, photos, videos, and even files from external devices like USBs and SD cards. I'll walk you through the entire process step by step, show you how it works in real time, and explain all the key features that make this tool so effective, whether you're on Windows or Mac. All right, let's get started. Once the software is downloaded and installed, launch it. And you'll see an interface like this in front of you. On the main screen, you'll find different recovery options. Now let's take a closer look at the right side of the screen. Here are all the options available. Local disks, C, D, etc. External devices, disk image, desktop, secret folder, recycle bin, and OneDrive. On the left side of the interface, you'll see different recovery modes based on the situation. Hard drives and locations, Recover lost or deleted files from your PC's local hard drives or partitions. Click on SD card recovery, insert your SD card, select it, and click start to scan and recover your files. Corrupted video repair. If your recovered video files are not playing or are damaged, this option helps repair them. System crashed computer. Helps create a bootable USB if your computer won't start, so you can recover files from it. NAS and Linux lets you recover files from NAS storage or Linux-based systems using network or direct connection. All right, let's get started and see how this works. First, I'm going to delete some files from my computer. As you can see, I've got a mix of video files, audio, Word documents, Excel sheets, and PDFs. I'm deleting all of them now. And as you can see, the folder is completely empty. Now I'm back on Wondershare, and I'm clicking on the SD card recovery option. As you can see here, the folder from which I deleted the data is now showing up in the list. I'll go ahead and click on the scan button, so Wondershare Recover It can start searching for all the deleted files inside it. As you can see, Recover It has started the scanning process. It's now going through the SD card and searching for all the files that were deleted whether they're videos, documents, or any other type of data. Here you can see two options at the top, file location and file type. File location helps you sort the recovered files based on where they were originally stored, like specific folders or paths on the SD card. File type allows you to filter the results by file format, such as videos, photos, audio, documents, etc. These options make it much easier to quickly find the exact files you're looking to recover. As soon as the scanning is complete, you can see that Recoverit has successfully found all the data that was previously deleted. Everything, from videos to documents, is now listed and ready to be recovered. Now I'm selecting all the recovered files and I'm creating a new folder. After that, I simply click on the Recover button to save all the files into that folder. And that's it! All the files I had deleted, including videos, documents, audio and more, have been successfully recovered and saved in the folder everything is back, just like it was before. As you can see, the process was simple, smooth, and really effective, even for someone who's not very tech-savvy. So that's how you can easily recover your deleted files using Wondershare Recoverit, whether it's from an SD card, hard drive, or even a crashed computer. I hope this video helped you out. If you found it useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who might need it. And of course, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any future tips and tutorials.
thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video